going to be a tutorial uh, for the Mac uh, involving downloading, downloading music from the web and importing it into iTunes and then getting it onto a device like an iPhone or an iPad. First of all, uh, we'll start with the website. In this case, it's the City Soul Choir. And there's the login. Scroll down, and we're going to find a song. These are all MP3 songs. And don't hover over the icon. Actually, hover over the lettering that is a highlight. You can see it changing. And you right click, uh, which is also a control click, or uh, if you're using an iPad, uh, a laptop, it's uh, I've had it set it up to do a two finger, and it'll give you the same as a right click, and you do save link as. Then you choose where to save it. In this case, we can just choose desktop. I'll create a new folder, CSC Learning. Okay, and it's after the gold rush, SETV. It's an MP3 audio, save. So that is now already downloaded to that folder. I'm going to get rid of the website. Now I'm going to go to iTunes. And uh, this is a relatively new version of iTunes uh, for 2017. I don't think it's brand new, but uh, it should be mostly similar to older versions. First thing you want to make sure is in your preferences of iTunes, you want to go to, uh, one thing is import settings. Yeah, that's fine. Advanced. Okay, in advanced, make sure this one right here is selected. Copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. Otherwise, if you don't have that selected, it will just use it from your desktop folder that you saved it to. Um, so I've got a special place where I keep all the music, and when I add it to the library, it's going to add it to that location with this setting. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to, in File menu, pull down to Add to Library. I'm going to find that folder which is on the desktop. CSC Learning. And there's the file I downloaded. I say open, and it's called After the Gold Rush. So I'm going to say open. And that's done. It's very quick. And now if I search for that after. ATV1 is the one it was. I've already got this song in here. So there it is. It shows me that. Now, what I like to do is I create a playlist. Uh, this is for learning tracks for my choir. So over here in this area, this is all the different playlists. And if I right click in here, same options of right clicking, you get a context sensitive menu, new playlist. And I'll just do CSC Learning. So that's my new playlist. There it is right there. CSC Learning. So it's empty right now. But if I go back up here to Music, uh, Songs, there it is. And I can just simply drag that. So I just Drag that into CSC Learning. And if there is more than one song, do the same process to all the different songs. And then you go down here and you click this playlist, and there's that song in the playlist. Okay, so now it's in iTunes. I can play it on the computer. That's great if you want to sit down on the computer. If you want to actually have it on your phone or your iPad, then what you want to do is... Connect your iPad or iPhone using a cable. I always use it 
the cable, although you can do it through Wi-Fi. And you see it just showed up right here. And then it opens up photos, which I don't want. So I'm just going to close that. So here it is here. If I click that, now I'm looking at my phone. And it's got all the stuff that's on my phone. And if I go over to music, here's all the different criteria that I've set to sync with my phone. And here's the new learning track that I just did, the new playlist with learning track. And if I hit OK to that, and I hit Apply, it will sync whatever I have selected here in the playlist and individual artists and any other settings. You can peruse those settings as you desire. And uh, you can see it says it's backing up and it goes through a whole process of backing up what's there. And then it will sync by either adding songs that you've added or it'll remove songs that you've deselected. And when it's done, you will have whatever you wanted to sync on your phone. And it's the same thing for an iPad. Works exactly the same way. So then you just uh, eject your phone and uh, that's about it. Good luck with that.